freedom is the message. We're claiming public space and we're having dialogue, right? We're having conversations at higher levels than on CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, even the congressional record where these corrupt politicians lie to us. Regularly. We all need to become more informed about the issues. We all need to become more informed about the issues. Complaining about school administrators is a dead end. We we'll come together and we make decisions collectively. It's consensus. If one person disagrees, it doesn't happen. It's We're organizing students to um, affect change, raise the level of dialogue, and um, get an understanding of what it is that this system, whatever that means, means. The Occupy movement, um, I talk to a lot of activists, not just young but old, right, people from the 60s, and people have been waiting for this for a long time. This is what people have been waiting for in terms of organizing the masses of people that have heretofore not been organized to really defend themselves, right, the 1%. And the 99%. The 1% have airplanes and yachts, the 99% don't. The 1% write the laws, the 99% should write the laws. How is it that the 1% have gotten so much control over our society? It's because the 99% aren't organized. As students, a lot of us are too busy to go down to LA and occupy completely. I think this is a good way for all of us to show our support on a daily basis without uh, giving up our daily lives. I've been down to Occupy LA um, uh, a few times the past week, and it's one of the most powerful things I think I've ever done. And I'm a returning student. I have my second BA that I'm getting in sociology. I'm a senior, but just the effects of tuition on this body of students here is outrageous. And then once they graduate, the effects that um, they're going to have to deal with not being able to be employed are going to be outrageous. The outcome would be a real democracy, right? We don't have a real democracy, and part of that is the, you know, the two-party binary. A lot of that is voter turnout for the last Los Angeles city election was 15 percent, 14.7 about. You know, these people get elected to billion-dollar seats for like 5,000 votes. You know, there's too much money in politics in terms of how our how our system operates and capitalism itself. If you have capital, if you have wealth, you use it to gain more wealth, and you can use it to gain policy, right? You can write policy that writes yourself more money, and that's a fundamental thing about this movement.